80-year-old Jimmy Hagee is a fixture at the Lee County Justice Center. Well, it sounds to me like you need to talk to a lawyer. To find He's a bailiff in one of the busiest courtrooms in the building. But long before he put on a green jacket and stepped into the courtroom, as a teen, he put on a pair of boxing gloves and stepped into the ring. I had three friends, and uh, there was a boxing gym in the basement of a theater in our town. And uh, they found out about it, and they joined the boxing club because after they trained every night, they could go upstairs and watch a movie. Hagee followed his friends and started to box. All told, it was, I had 51 fights. Despite having more losses than wins, his fascination with the sport continued. Years later, he jumped back in the ring as a referee. He even made it to the world's most famous arena. Uh, I remember one night I refereed in Madison Square Garden, and I came out of the dressing room and down the ramp, and I looked up as high as I could see, and as far as I could see, there were 28,000 people there. And I had to go up there and get in the ring. And... Uh, Talk about butterflies. Officiating bouts with Riddick Bowe and rubbing elbows with one of boxing's great announcers. Howard Cosell. Uh, uh, I met him in Las Vegas. I refereed the national championships. But Hagee's talents weren't limited to the ring. He left boxing and became an award-winning hairdresser. Yes, hairdresser. So good at it, he was soon styling the quaffs of models and starlets like Debbie Reynolds. So what's next for the man who refuses to retire? In his spare time, Hagee's now writing a book about his life called From Ring to Ringlets. You gotta keep moving. You slow down, they'll get you. In Lee County, I'm David Bowden. Wink News Now.